All right, here we go. Well, welcome everybody. <clears throat> We're going to talk about referrals today. I've been in business for 32 years in the business of sales. And all that time, the biggest place where I've always gotten most of my business has been from, from referrals. Whether it be people I met at the grocery store, people I just had a, a sales conversation with, or, or whomever. In the sales process, your sales process will grow so much faster and so much easier if and when you ask for referrals. Don't just expect them to happen. This is something that you have to work for because it is, it is not an accidental thing. Most people are willing to give referrals, but I think they say something like an average of only 29% of salespeople actually ask. So if the fast, it's been proven the fastest way to build your business is to actually ask for referrals. So you know, when you think about referrals, people are four times more likely to buy when referred to by a friend or a coworker. 83% of consumers are willing to refer after a positive experience. 83%, that is a significant number. 84% of business to business decision makers start the buying process with a referral. For example, uh, just last week I was at a major uh, manufacturing company in Moncton and I, we just finished a conversation we, uh, we I'd gotten an enrollment for uh, for one of our programs and then I started explaining you know to the uh, to the vice president you know what this program is going to create and what it's going to do for her business and, and how this person is going to benefit and then I brought up the idea of well you know when this person when this person starts to get the results you're probably going to think of some other people who you might say, man, I wish I would have talked to them about this or wish I would have mentioned uh, for, for me to go talk to them. And so we, we had a conversation and she said, well, you should talk to, and she gave me a name from a person from another division. So I went over to the same day I made a phone call, asked her if she could see me and I went right over to see her and she said, wow, that, that is definitely something we need to do. And so we talked and she gave me a name of a person she wanted to see in her project. And then I asked her for a referral and she gave me a name of a person in another division completely. And I made the appointment and went over to see that person. And I got three enrollments basically from one person. And that's the beauty of when you ask for the referrals, follow up, follow up, follow up. Because if you don't follow up within 24 hours, that referral could go dry. And a lot of times when I ask for a referral, I'll ask the people, you know, could you send me an invitation or could you pick up the phone and call them? Could you take out your business card and write something on the back of it just as an introduction of me? And that really backs up this 84% of business to business decision makers start the buying process with a referral. And then companies with formalized referral programs experience 86% more revenue growth over the past few years when they compare that to the rest of their growth. Now, I'm not sure if, if the, the people listening, if you have a formalized referral program or if it's part of your sales process to ask for referrals, but it should be as natural as asking for the order when you're asked for the referral. So really, you're trying to make two sales. You're trying to, to sell your product or service and you're trying to sell yourself or your organization to a, a, an experience or to a uh, partner or to a business cohort or to somebody that they might know and, and respect and, and want the best for. 30% of companies surveyed, this came from Nielsen's, have a formalized referral program. Only 30%. The rest of it is just hit and miss. And the problem with referrals is that network marketing has given it a really bad name over the years. I, when I got in this business, Oh man, back in the early 80s, mid 80s, I was meeting so many people and so many people said, well, if you do this, you'd be great at this. And they, they give the network marketing idea and they tell me all about it and I'd be interested for a little while. And, but a few of them kind of perked up and caught my interest. And I discovered that a couple of them I tried to do. Matter of fact, one of them I was up to an executive director in like about a week just based on the people that I knew. And the problem was with what they expect in network marketing is that you call on your, your friends, 
your neighbors, your relatives, your colleagues, and they expect you to go out and build your business through the people that you know. And it comes to the point where when they see you coming, they just turn and go the other way. And that's really created a bad taste in a lot of people's mouth for uh, asking for referrals. I, and that's what I, exactly why I call it the network marketing effect. Uh, because if, if we're always asking, 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 you're going to turn people off after a period of time. You have to ask for referrals, but it's how you do it and who you do it with and when you do it that makes a big difference in, in the results that you're going to get. So really, it's a simple process. When you're asking for referrals, you know, you, you start off with talking about their specific, let's say their spe specific benefits. Let's say you started with a company a while ago and you had talked to them and worked with them and they'd been experiencing and enjoying the benefits that your product or your service has given to them. And now you're back a little while later and you're just checking in to make sure everything's going okay and see if there's any problems or, or challenges or, you know, whatever's going on. And when you reconnect with them and you, it's time to ask for a, a referral, you connect with their specific benefits that they're getting from working with you. Hey, Dean, it's so great to speak with you. It's so nice to see that, you know, as you have been out applying your, your uh, talking to your customers, you're, you're using this extra ability to deal with people and to communicate more effectively. And it really looks like it's making a significant difference. That's how I would usually start. Talk to them about you know, them, their business, what they're doing, and how they're enjoying the benefits that we have. So I know, Mark and Michelle, you work with uh, cleaning filters. You know, it's an amazing idea, and it saves thousands of dollars. So I would start with something like, you know, it's, it's so great to be able to work with a company like you that is interested in saving time and money as they grow their business. And, <laughs> pardon me, and then, and then you just, from there, you just ask for you know, the referral. It's so great to know that, you know, as you are saving money, you probably always see people and always talking to people who have similar business ideas as you and they're looking to grow their business. So who are some of the people that, that you probably think of when, you, uh, when you're looking at people who are trying to grow their business in the same way that you are through the service that we're offering you? And it's so simple to do. You don't have to, it's not rocket science. It's just a process where you uh, have the confidence to bring up you, the benefits that they're getting from your product or service. You talk about some of the people that have similar issues. And then you talk about how that's impacting the business. And sometimes you could, you could do something unique, like you can describe your customer profile, because we all should have profiles of our ideal customers. And um, one way to ask is, uh, actually, I have an example right here. I'll show you this one. I'm going to describe a colleague, associate, or friend to you right now. If someone comes to mind, please stop me and tell me about, I mean, tell me about them. You know, they're very similar to yourself in that. And then you talk about the profile. What have you described as your ideal customer? This could be someone else in your company, another department, an acquaintance from a professional organization, a service club, chamber of commerce. Stop me when you thought of someone. And then this, this line. So would you write an introduction for me on the back of your business card? Or would you be comfortable giving them a phone call right now so we can talk briefly on the phone? Thanks very much. This is a technique that I use weekly. And it is so simple, and it's so easy to use. And as we said, 83% of people are, are willing to give a referral if somebody would only ask. And it goes right back to what we talked about just a few minutes ago. Uh, it's like the sale. People will not give us the sale unless we ask as well. So don't expect it to fall into our pocket if we're not out there asking for it. And another technique we can work with is, thanks so much for your continued business. Or here's another uh, way to ask. Thanks so much for your continued business. It's inspiring to see how you've achieved your goals. You talk about their initial interest when they talk to you through the work we've done together, which has, and then you talk about how it's created their, you know, how it's satisfied their buying motive. Based on what we've discussed today and what you've done with them or what you've done with them, who else in your organization would benefit from what we do? This is where you need to be specific. You know, who else would benefit from uh, saving uh, money on, on cleaning the filters? 
Who else would benefit from um, the right kind of insurance? Who else would benefit from financial security or more information? And these are the kind of things that we'll talk about. And then you ask and be willing to look them in the eye and ask. And sometimes a person is going to look at you and say, well, I don't know of somebody. And that's when you use this one here, the one we just talked about a few minutes ago. When a person doesn't know who to refer, you help them out a little bit. Help them just start their brain thinking. And usually what I'll do is when I say I'm going to describe a colleague, associate, or friend to you right now, when someone comes to mind, please stop me. Sometimes I will describe the person that I'm talking to. Because a lot of times we associate with people we know, we like, we respect. Um, and a lot of the people we, we associate with them because they're a lot like us. And I can't tell you how many times that I've started to describe them to us. They say, yeah, you, have you talked to Jane or, or John Doe just down the street? Now, there's a very important part that you need to ask here, because after you get the referral, you have to follow up with the referral. And if you're going to follow up with the referral, uh, you need to do it fast. And then uh, you can say, you know, I was just talking to John Doe down the street, and they suggested I give you a call. Incidentally, how well do you know, John? And I ask that because sometimes when I ask for a referral for in, the, in the leadership side of things, which is what we do, or the communication side, some people will give me the names of people that they may not like or have very little in common with. And so if it's going to be a referral that someone is referring me with, I want to make sure that it is, uh, it's, seen at, it's, it's respected by the other person. And so I'd say something like, hey, Dean, uh, you know, thanks for taking the time to meet with me. Uh, I was just speaking with, with um, Corey down the street, and Corey suggested I give you a call. Incidentally, how well do you know Corey? And you could say, Dean could say something like, well, yeah, we've been doing business together for a while. Great, because he suggested we, do, we should have this conversation. And then it's so easy to carry on from there. But if I asked Dean that same question, and Dean said, oh, yeah, Corey? Uh, well, I know of him, but uh, I haven't heard very good things. I would say something simple like, well, you know, I, I appreciate that. It's, we might have a chance to do some work with them and, and just thought it might be somebody you might know. Incidentally, and then you just go change, change the topic. You, if they don't like the person that's referred you and they know that they're the person who referred you, you may have some challenges getting through or, or making the sale. So some guidelines you want to keep in mind as you're asking for, for referrals. <clears throat> First of all, make sure that every time you meet with a client, that's a time for you to ask for a referral. Every single client meeting. And if you make that a habit, you'll find that you're in that 83% of getting and receiving referrals and building your business. Make, make the most of every networking opportunity. Go to uh, chambers of Commerce, go to Rotaries, go to uh, any kind of place that is an opportunity for you to network with people. Tell your story. Learn to tell your story really well. And then when you have an opportunity to engage with them and, and talk to them as you're telling the story, you can always ask, who does that bring to mind? You know, does that sound like somebody else that I should be talking to? And always be specific. This is specific in what you're looking for. Instead of saying, well, do you know anybody I should talk to? Just right out of the blue. That's not good enough. You've got to be able to tell them specifically what it is that you're looking for. That makes, that's what makes a big difference. And then make asking for referrals a part of your sales presentation. Because if you can do that, it gets comfortable and it just happens so naturally. And you don't have to worry about asking down the road because it will already happen. Now, here's something unique. Uh, if you go on LinkedIn and you look at my uh, profile, you'll see I have like about 42 referrals on there. Now, I have asked for a lot of those, but some of them, they just came right out of the blue. And I highly recommend that you get and give referrals, not just on LinkedIn, but face-to-face -face as well. Uh, if, and if you're willing to give referrals, People are willing to give them back for you. And it's a wonderful tool to use to get the conversation going, to build a business so that you can get more and more and more referrals. Provide valuable content your network can use. Write stories. Be seen as a, as a, pro, a product subject matter expert. 
because the more product expert you can be, the more people are willing to talk about your name and, and, and say, you know, have you heard about this person? One of the things I do daily on LinkedIn is I look for people that I can connect together and I give referrals that way. Ensure your current clients know about all the products and services you offer because sometimes you'll ask for a referral on one topic, one product, but they don't know you might have others. So make sure that you, they all know who you are, what you do, and how you do it. And don't always go to the same people all the time because then it goes right back to the network marketing effect and people hate to see you coming. So those are some of the guidelines, some of the ways, some of the things you can do to ask for referrals. Uh, as we're wrapping up, any questions, any thoughts you might have, uh, things you might want uh, answers on? In? I'm good. Okay. Did you find some information here? What, what's one thing you found that might be helpful for you? Just some of the wording you have uh, to make it natural, obviously, but uh, yeah, just some of the wording. So are you able to send this to us after? Absolutely. Yeah, okay. Absolutely. So there's our 20 minutes, our quick, quick and dirty getting referrals, the fastest way to build your business. And if you're looking to grow your business, if you're looking to build it, uh, please remember to ask for referrals every time you connect, every time you come face-to-face -face with a potential client. Mm -hmm. Thanks for being here. It's really great to connect with, with you folks. And as, you, as you're thinking about this, think about some of the other people in your industry that are looking to build their business and looking to grow in their communications and their sales skills. And I'll be sending you an email a little bit later to talk about that, to see who you, you should think or who you would think that I should be talking to based on our experience here today. Thanks, everybody. Look forward to talking to you soon. Take care.